Hello and welcome to my helpful little video to show you how to load and use Michael's preset Orama Lightroom presets. As you can see, we're in Lightroom and uh, the image I have up in, on the screen is one that's already run through kind of my initial import preset that sets color and sets contrast and, and a few other things. Um, so it's, you know, it's a, it's a good rough image to work from. But first, what is a preset? A preset is a set of different settings that you can just blanket apply to any image in, in Lightroom. Um, it just will change whatever settings that you want and give you a certain look, a certain effect. One of the reasons I use presets a lot in Lightroom is it saves me time in my workflow. I can get a lot of things done in Lightroom that I used to have to do only in Photoshop. I can get some of the same looks in Lightroom and be part of my irregular uh, developing and processing workflow in right in, in right loom <laughs> in Lightroom. Anyway, I haven't been drinking yet today. Maybe I should. Anyway, um, so presets. In Lightroom, you need to be in the develop module to be able to use a preset. And you can see all the different presets over here on the left. But how did these presets magically get into Lightroom? Ah, good question. If you've never loaded a preset into Lightroom, here's some simple steps to follow. First of all, just make sure that you copy the presets, uh, the preset or Rama presets, onto your computer somewhere, just so you know where they are. Then go to Edit, Preferences, and in here you're going to see a tab called Presets. And down here you see Show Lightroom Presets Folder. And it's going to show you Lightroom. You need to go into Lightroom. You need to look for the folder called Develop Presets. You open that up. You open that up. And you see the folders of the different presets that I use. All you need to do is note where this is in your computer. Or while you've got this window opened up, drag the folder of Michael's Preset Orama Presets into this particular folder, the Lightroom Develop Presets folder. And it's done. Next time you open Lightroom, those presets will be there. So, pretty simple. So what do some of these presets do? Well, again, we've got our base image here to work from. Let's just run through all the presets in preset Orama. And we're just going to do a quick preview. So here's blue, blue suede shoes, which is more of a split tone mixing blue and yellow. It gives you kind of a cool look. We'll take that off. We've got a plain Jane black and white, just a nice straightforward black and white. One thing to note with all of these presets or anybody else's presets is they're going to get you most of the way there. You also need to take a look over here and see if you're blowing out your whites or if you're plugging your blacks or if you need less contrast, more contrast. The preset gets you most of the way there and from there you can tweak. This one is blowing my highlights out just a little bit so I'm going to dial it back just a hair. Boom, there we are. So what else we got in here? We've got a warm black and white. I like my black and whites to have a little bit of warm tone. So I've got a bunch of different black and whites that have a little bit of warmth to them. This one's called black and white warmer. This one's called black and white warmish. You want to go really warm? This is called chocolate mousse. We have chocolate thunder. We have coolio contrasty. It's a split tone where it mixes some warm tones and some cool tones. It's a really interesting look. And again, you can see we're starting to blow out our highlights on this particular one. So you want to dial it back just a little bit. Or if you want to do some recovery on it, just to pull your highlights back. Again, make sure you take that extra step to, to tweak each shot so it looks its absolute best. So we're going to go back to Coolio 2. It's just a less contrasty form of Coolio Contrasty. we got Coolio Warm Black and White Split Tone, just another version of it. One of my favorites is called Desaturally Warm. I love it. It brings a desaturated look into the image and it also warms it up a little bit. It's a great look if you're going for like a, a vintage look or an urban gritty look. Fantastic preset for that. You want to crisp it up a little bit? I've got Desaturally Warm Crisp. It just brings out some more detail and especially if you're working with um, an image that's got some gritty texture in it. Boy, it's great for popping that texture. Just a fun one called Gold Rush. Again, nice one if you're trying to trying to do something that's got a little bit of a vintage look, especially if you're going to lay a texture over top of this. Now, there's not a good way of putting a texture that I know of in, in Lightroom, so this is one you would have to open up in Photoshop later on and, and put a texture on it. May I suggest 
Michael's Texture Land Textures. I think they would go fabulous with this image. So this is Gold Rush. Another one of my favorites, Golden Crunch. Um, it's a variation of some of my black and whites, but man, it's got a heavy vignette on it. It's got some contrast. It's got some texture pop. It's got some really cool things going on. Now for something completely different, Ice Pick. Ooh, man, I kind of dig that on this image. Ice Pick is good for certain images and not good on a lot of other images, but you know what? When it's good on an image, it's really cool. Next one's called Just Bleachy. Gives you kind of that bleach bypass look in Lightroom. This one's not going to look very good on it because it's called Make It Fall. The idea of Make It Fall is if you took a shot where all your greenery is green, Make It Fall will turn the greenery to kind of a warm tone and make it look like it's fall. How about Make It Snappy? I'm going to take, I'm going to back up one step here and just get that Make It Fall off of there. Make It Snappy is Something that's just going to add a little bit more snap to things. Mega Mind. It's kind of cool. It's got this purplish feel to it. We got Moonlight Madness. If you want to go totally crazy with it, Ooh Colorful is one I love. It's one that just really pops and saturates colors. We got another one called Pop. It just to pop the colors. You want a little bit of a burgundy tone onto things? We've got Ron Burgundy. This one got a little dark on me. I'm going to open that up a little bit. Got another one called Sky Cloud Go Boom. It's not even one I'm going to put on here, but if you've got an image that, you know, a third of the image or a half of the image on the top is horizon and you've got the sky in there, you want to make your clouds and your sky just really go cool. Sky Cloud Go Boom. I'm going to flip over and show you an example of that. Here's kind of a before and here's an after. Sky Cloud Go Boom. So let's go back into our image. Super selenitoid. It's got a kind of a selenium tone to it, but it's really taking it a little extra step. Back into some of our burgundies, we have wino and wino wow. Wino wow is really cool luck, especially on this particular image. As a matter of fact, I think this is probably what I would settle on um, as a treatment for this particular image. So again, my preset Orama Lightroom presets. A lot of different options for you. These are the ones I use every day in my workflow. This is the stuff I use on all my weddings and my high school seniors and things like that. Um, it just gives me the opportunity in Lightroom to add some cool special effects to images without having to take them entirely into Photoshop. So try out the uh, preset Orama presets. I'm sure you're going to like them. You know, you may only find that there's three or four that use a lot, but you know what? If you use them a lot and they sell, they made you a lot of money. So to check them out. Hopefully you like them and uh, thank you for uh, checking out my presets.